How would I say that? Check one, two. Just do it over again. All right, so obviously I'll never be famous enough for like a real GQ interview, but I thought it'd be really funny to do like a, a new wound slash Eric Molinar GQ Essentials interview. We'll have some more songs coming, some more content rolling out. So I just thought this would be cool for everyone to get to know me on a deeper level. So essential number one is, of course, the, the ASICs. I really like the Nimbus model. I wear a size nine and it's, it's honestly more of an emotional health than a physical health for me. Um, I think most people would describe me as like a chill guy. And uh, a lot of that is from running, honestly. And uh, the Nimbus model keeps my knees uh, and shins feeling good. I've tried a lot of different brands, but um, the Nimbus seems to be real neutral. Doesn't doesn't hurt my legs. So um, I've stuck with it for, for quite a few years and running on my, you know, life spectrum is, is generally probably one of the most important things to me. Yeah. And another really important thing with these is, you know, everyone gets the runner's high. If you're a runner, um, I love writing and, uh, typically at the end of my runs, I always whip out the, the notes app and write down, um, you know, something, some kind of sentiment for life or poem or lyrics. And that is a big part of why I run. It's a, it's a huge post work, you know, emotional release. And, uh, that's for sure why I'm able to, to stay chill and, and get a lot of my, my feelings out at the end of the run. That was a little long winded. We'll keep things rolling along. Essential number two is actually these guys right here. They're the, uh, Sure SE 215s, and I'm using them to monitor right now, but I love these guys. I mean, the quick story is I've actually had four pairs of wireless earbuds in my life, and that's a mix of AirPods and, and the Sure wireless earbuds, and I've lost them all. Um, either one of the, you know, one of the buds or the charging case, and two times was actually at an airport, you know, when they call my my flight, I walk on and I leave them plugged into the wall charging just very idiotically. So uh, after those times, Eric Molinar is, is no longer allowed to have cordless earphones. So I love these. I wear them uh, running. I wear them skateboarding. I wear them just around to listen to music. They're awesome. They sound great. Um, shout out, sure, for the SE 215s. So my third essential is actually a skateboard of any kind. And I have uh, numerous cruiser decks. I have probably three penny boards. And my old boss, he actually gifted me um, two of these Evolve electric boards. They operate with a remote. Uh, there's motors on them. They go super fast. And I'd actually say I'm more into skiing uh, from you know growing up in Michigan as a kid. Um, but the, the phenomenon, that kind of free falling feeling you get, um, when there's no snow, you definitely get it out of these boards for sure. So I love doing it solo or with friends, uh, listening to music. It's just something I have to do every week. Okay. Essential number four, a little bit, uh, you know, more exposed here, but I would say hygiene is pretty important to me. Uh, I'm not the best, but I'm still working on it. Um, I'm pretty OCD about like shaving. I get it from my dad and uh, I get the Henson blue razor right here. It works pretty well. I mean, I upgraded from like the, the normal plastic, like, you know, buy it Walmart razors about a year ago. And this thing does awesome. Like sometimes I dig in a little too hard. I get like, you know, marks or razor burn, but I really like this. So yeah. That's a big essential for me. Take it pretty much everywhere I go. And then with that, I have been using uh, the Dr. Squatch soap. And I like bit onto the, the ad scheme super hard, but I tried it out and it's honestly awesome. Like I get a lot of compliments on how I smell. And uh, this is the summer citrus. I've tried the, the, uh, like the pine tree version. I've tried the, what is there? There's like a, there's like a bourbon wood thing. 
Um, that one's okay. But like this one, you open the box, you put a couple in the bathroom. It smells amazing. And it's got uh, sea salt in it. So I feel like it's helping with my my skin. And, you know, feel free to recommend like better skin routine or, or products. Like I'm still struggling with that, trying to get it down to science. But, you know, we'll learn from each other. And uh, hygiene, that's a big that's a big essential for me. I think I could be a little more concise. Number five, essential number five is actually these uh, pre-made meals. So I've tried a couple or been experimenting with a couple. This is Clean Eats. I think it's a Fort Wayne company. I've also tried Herculean. It's pretty similar, but I feel like you get more with these. They're protein packed. They save me tons of time shopping and uh, cooking. You know, I don't spend like an hour at Target anymore or Walmart. And I really like what they're doing for my body. I feel very healthy um, aside from my bad drinking habits. Um, these are definitely keeping me going, uh, staying active and I really like them. You should try it out. All right. Essential number six is actually going to be my work badge. Um, I use this to get in and out of the building. So if I use it every day, it's got to be an essential shout out D block from Detroit on my lanyard. They're a sick band. Um, but yeah, this job in all seriousness has really kept me on the rails. I think I entered as a you know, kind of the classic frat boy college kid. And I think my life could have gone a number of different ways if I didn't have this consistency every day. It's definitely helped me with uh, relationships, um, you know, staying consistent, appreciating the friends I've made here. And I could do sales or or something similar in a lot of different industries. And uh, I just don't think I'm going to find um, the camaraderie, like the instant uh, friendship that you can get where I'm working. And uh, I picked this badge, um, you know, homage to my homies at work. I really appreciate you guys. Okay, essential number seven is actually an instrument of any kind. Uh, I mean, this is a guitar, but it doesn't have to be a guitar. I mean, I grew up playing French horn and trumpet. I played piano for a while. You know, I'm not really like fascinatingly uh, talented at anything, but I have always been creative. I mean, I remember like walking home with a picture of Spider-Man that I drew for my mom pretty much every day in kindergarten. So my mind has always been geared towards creativity and playing instruments definitely um, helps scratch the itch. So this is a pretty sick ESP. It's got Dan Campbell from The Lions on it. I thought that looked pretty cool on there. Um, I got a bunch of guitars. I got a bunch of synthesizers. And uh, yeah, if you haven't picked up an instrument, you totally should. You don't have to be good at it. You don't really even have to know how to play. I just think it's fun to um, experiment, see what you can do, and, and make sure you're having fun. All right, what are we at? Eight now? Essential number eight. This one's a little bit more sappy, but um, I am going to pick my family. Um, they're a huge essential and, you know, compared to a lot of other people I've met, we don't like necessarily call each other or FaceTime or text every day. But, uh, my parents and my brother, like tr- they are truly the backbone of who I am. And, uh, I feel like how I interact with my friends and, uh, like customers, like they are, um, objectively like really good people like even if I looked at them outside of being my my family I mean my parents they hang out with they're really hip they live in Grand Rapids Michigan they'll hang out with young people at like the Latvian camp or in Grand Rapids at like new restaurants or bars and I really admire them they've taught me balance really well uh my brother is like if if anyone thinks I'm nice he is like the most kind human being ever. So I definitely strive to be a little bit more like him, you know, not get caught up in my, um, you know, image problems or like caught up in like media stuff because my brother, he's a solid dude. Yeah. All right. This one might be the most fun essential number nine. Um, I think everyone could have seen this coming. It's actually going to be the, uh, the bleach kit. You know, I started bleaching my hair um, probably a little bit over a year ago. And it's actually because I started going a little shorter, you know, buzzing it a little bit more. And there's actually this patch 
like right on top that's super blonde uh, in contrast to kind of my like brown, dirty blonde hair. Um, so I just decided to bleach it. I have, you know, there's so many cool like front man dudes that do that. Like Bieber does, Jesse Rutherford of The Neighborhood. Uh, I feel like, you know, Chris Brown and like other people, they're, they're all about that. So I do it now. Uh, I have a lot of tips. I have a lot of mixing practice. I use the, uh, what is this brand? Ion. The two the two colors I use are Extreme High Lift Ash Blonde. And then I also use one called Snow Cap um, sometime. So those are my tips. Save those uh, colors if you want to look like me. Um, I have a lot of practice, so uh, definitely message me if you want any tips on... on um, you know, going platinum blonde, uh, going for that look. All right. So number 10 on my GQ essentials, uh, list is just music in general. I got, uh, you know, just some, some, some good records here that I would say like pretty, uh, they cover like the whole gamut of like what I listen to. So start with the classics, um, police, like I basically got into guitar because of this band, because of the Andy Summers tone. And I think I've achieved that playing style with like, you know, the cleaner delayed, uh, like riffs that I, that I always gravitate to. So it's a great album. Next one is going to be the cars. Um, Hey, that album just looks really sick, but, uh, yeah, similar vibe is the police. I just think they have a cool tone and, uh, this is a great record front to back. Uh, the Cars, I guess it's just the self-titled. Um, I'm also really into hip hop. Got this Kid Ink record that's pretty cool. Um, bat Gang, I guess, or no. Yeah, I don't know. It's got a bat on it. But uh, yeah, I like that. A bunch of other hip hop. I, of course, like every young person, has gone through the whole like emo pop punk phase. So shout out to Moose Blood. Into the hardcore stuff too. Best hardcore band for sure is Trapped Under Ice. I mean, that's my opinion. And uh, Title Fight Ex explains itself. And then I'm into a lot of pop music too. So I mentioned Jesse Rutherford. I think he's an awesome artist. Uh, Chip Chrome, I thought was a really cool, like, alternate identity reality that he came up with. So. Uh, Ryan Springer bought me this. He digs them too. And yeah, this is an album that uh, you should definitely check out. All right. So there you have it. This was Eric Molinar slash New Wound, the GQ Essentials. Hopefully you learned something about me. Hopefully you're inspired to share your essentials with your friends and family. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. <laughs>